Katuk. It's an amazing perennial green that grows right here in Hawaii. And I'm going to tell you all about it, so stay tuned. Aloha everybody, this is Sean with Homestead in Hawaii. And today I want to tell you about an awesome perennial green to include onto your homestead within your food forest. It's Katuk. This perennial green behind me that we love to use in stir fries or in soups or sometimes even eaten raw. But since we're in the tropics here with rat lungworm disease, which is a real problem here, we tend to cook most of our greens. What I really like about Katuk is that it is a great understory plant within the food forest. It is in the shrub layer, which can be hard to find sometimes for the food forest. It'll grow in dappled sunlight as well as full sun along the forest edge. Great plant for the forest edge. I like to go large fruit tree, small fruit tree, down to the shrub like Katuk, and then a little lower we'll have comfrey, pineapple, culantro, and then below that we'll have perennial peanut or sweet potato, all growing in that multi-layered food forest. Katuk grows like an upright shrub. It loves to be pruned regularly and then it lets out these nice succulent green shoots that you can harvest pretty often and use in your cooking. It also has seed pods, flowers, and then turns into these fruits and then seeds that you can eat. My wife loves to eat the ones when they're, the fruit, when they're still white. For me, I tend to just stick with the greens. That's what I like the best with this plant. The fruit and the flowers and the seeds, they're all edible, but not quite my cup of tea. But what's also cool is this plant has a beneficial relationship with the mycorrhizae in the soil. And normally that means that they are able to draw out nitrogen from the air, but this plant actually draws out phosphorus. And so it, it distributes phosphorus for plants all around it. But since it is a perennially growing green, it loves to have nutrition. Manure, a foliar spray, of um, fish emulsion, whatever it is that you have to add to your soil to enrich it and add that nitrogen, this plant will take it up. But it doesn't need much. I just have mine growing with a ground cover of perennial peanut, and it seems to be doing just fine with that. Once in a while, I give it a foliar spray, but I really don't mess with these plants too much. I just harvest and eat. If you are looking for a screen or a hedge or something, this plant would make a great choice as well. Not only would it be edible, but it forms into a nice compact shape that is like can be pretty thick so you can't see through it and it creates a good screening a good barrier between you and neighbors or uh, something that you're just trying to block out but katuk could be a great plant for that so let's go dive into how to propagate katuk and one of the best ways to get it is by getting some cuttings from a neighbor you'll be surprised how easy it is just like most things here in the tropics so let's go Okay, to propagate Katuk, you want to find a small branch that transitions from woody to green. In fact, we're probably a little bit early in the season. The Katuk here can use a little more time to harden off because this is still young first year growth. But uh, coming more towards the fall would be an ideal time to propagate Katuk. But this one looks like it'll be able to handle it as well. You're just not going to find that many branches that are going to be a good candidate. Now you can put larger branches like these ones down, but they're just going to take a longer time and I'd get mine rooted quick. So we're going to go ahead and take a cutting of this branch. Okay, we have our cutting. So in order to prepare it, we're just going to remove most of the leaves. You can just strip them off. No need to baby these things. You could save the leaves for eating. And you can see here, we have our finished cutting. 
Now I'm gonna just stick this plant down. Actually, I'm gonna trim it up closer to the node here. And then I'm gonna put at least two nodes down under the soil. This might prove a problem. This is why I'd prefer to wait a little bit longer in the season for when the plant is more mature and a little more woody. Um, so this may cause a problem, just so you're aware of that. But we are doing this a little bit earlier in the season, kind of for sake of this video and to show you how it's done. All right, so all you have to do is make a little hole in the ground Stick it in two nodes deep and then backfill it up. Provide a little water to water it in and you should have it rooting out within two to three months. And then you should start to see new growth a little bit longer than that. You could also do this directly into a pot if you wanted to try and spread plants out that way. I'm just, I just like propagating them directly in the garden. No middleman for me. So there you have it guys, all about Katuk and how to propagate it. As easy as one, two, three. Cut the branch, strip the leaves, stick it in the ground. Just wait for fall for more success rate and you'll be doing fine. So I hope you like this video. Please hit that like button down below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're constantly updating and adding more info for you to become a better homesteader and and steward of the Aina here in Hawaii and the great tropics beyond. So once again, thanks for joining me. Aloha till next time.